how to configure Go in Jenkins. You may have numerous Go-based applications within your environment. This probably also means that you need to support numerous versions of Go. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simply and easily make different versions of Go available to your Jenkins pipelines. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.319.2, and attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. For the very first item, we're going to install the Go plugin. So we'll go over to Manage Jenkins, Manage Plugins, we'll go to Available and look for Golang. And the plugin that we find is the Go plugin. So we'll go ahead and check the box, download now and install after restart. And once it has gone from pending to ready for restart, let's go ahead and do a restart. And now that we're back from our restart, let's go to Manage Jenkins. Go to Global Tool Configuration. And we'll scroll down to the Go section. We'll click on Add Go. And for this very first one, we're going to install automatically. So we're going to install Go 117.6. So I'm going to give it the name of 1.17.6. And that's all we have to do for that version. Let's go ahead and click on Save. And let's go create a test job to see how this works. We'll click on New Item. We'll call this Test-Go. Click on Pipeline, click on OK. And from my notes, let me grab my example. So what I have here is my very basic pipeline. And I'm saying for my tools, I'm specifying Go and then 117.6 which is the name that we just gave that one installation. And then finally, we're just going to say Go version to confirm that that is the version of Go that we're running. Let's click on Save, and then click on Build Now. What we'll see here is it's unpacking Go from Golang. So we're downloading directly from Golang this specific version, which is 117.6, and it's expanding it into our agent, into its 117.6 directory, and then finally, once we get down to Go version, we now see that we have Go version 117.6. Next up, let's assume that we already have Go installed on our agent, but we haven't specified where Go is. It's not on the path. Go path isn't set up. Nothing set up. Just the binary for Go is installed on the file system on the agent. So how do we set up our global tool configuration to use that specific version of Go? Well, let's go to Manage Jenkins, Global Tool Configuration. We'll go down to Go again. We'll click on Go Installations. We're going to click on Add Go. We're going to give this one the name of 1.16.13, which is the version of Go that I already have installed on that agent. I'm going to uncheck Install Automatically. And then it's asking us for the installation directory. So the place I have that installed on my agent is in Op tools go 116.13 and then go. Let's go ahead and click on save. And then let's go back and modify this job to use the 116.13. So we'll say 116.13. We'll click on save and click on build now. As we look at this job running, what we can see here is we're running on agent in this job. And then it's picking out environment variables for tool, which is happening under the hood for the tools declaration that we made for 116.13. And if we take a look at the output from Go version, we can see that we are running 116.13. And finally, I want to show you a different way to do install automatically. Let's go back over to the dashboard, Manage Jenkins, configure global tool configuration. We'll go down to Go, click on Go installations. There's our 116, our 117. Let's click on Add Go here at the bottom. Whether you click on Add Go at the top or Add Go at the bottom, it's the same thing. So this time, what I want to do is I want to install 1.15.15 is the version I want. But we're not going to install from golang.org, at least not directly. This is the use case to where you already have your version of Go downloaded somewhere, maybe it's on a FTP server, SFTP server, 
a web server just somewhere within your organization. So you've already brought the binary down, you've scanned it, you know that this is the version of Go that is safe for usage within your organization. That's the version that I want to do. So I'm actually going to delete this installer. And instead, I'm going to say installer, and I'm going to say extract from zip or tar.gz. So for this, I have to give it the labels where this would apply. So in my case, the label I have on my agent right now is Linux. So once I select Linux and it says it matches one node. So anytime I use this tool specific version 115.15 and I'm landing on a Linux agent, then this is going to be the download URL that I'm going to use. Now, in my case, I have not downloaded this binary directly to another server. So I'm just going to download directly from the Go site. And then the subdirectory for the extracted archive, if you were to go into this tar GZ, the top level subdirectory is Go. So let's go ahead and click on Save. And let's click on Dashboard and let's go back to our job. We'll do one more configuration. We're going to change 116.15 to 115.15. And what we'll see here, once we run it, so we take a look at build number three. We're going to see that it's unpacking from this location that we have specified into the same basic location where the very first installation happened for 117. And once we get down to Go version, we now see that we're running against 115.15. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.